Paris, your prince, my son, our hero, has vanquished the Slayer of the Sands. Hey! <laughs> yeah, that's it! <laughs> yeah! The future of our kingdom is surely safe in the hands of one so gallant and chivalrous as he. Now come, heroic conqueror. Adri Beloved Gallopolitans, yes, I captured the beast, but I did not act alone. <laughs> For it was your love, your adoration that gave me the strength I so needed. Yes! It is that same love that will allow me to continue serving you until my dying day. Friends, we have no need to be afraid. Prince Faris will protect us. Yes, yes! We have nothing to fear with the prince on our side! Well, my boy, your people are weak. Let them see firsthand the fearless desert knight you have become. Father, I cannot. <gasps> Repeat after me now. A knight's word? Uh, a knight's word is his bond, his kingdom, his master. Hmm? Huh? 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 <gasps> well, don't stop. He serves the weak untiringly, challenges the strong unflinchingly, and, and never retreats in the face of adversity. That's more like it. Now, my little principal, do you want to be remembered as a miserable coward or a hero who died fighting to the end? I wish to be remembered as a knight of Gallopolis! You were wonderful. Amazing what you can do when you put your mind to it, huh? Huh? Wait! Did you...? I won't always be here to remind you what it means to be a knight, though. Better not go forgetting again, huh? Mm-hmm. Friend, where did you become so well-versed in the ways of chivalry? Are you a knight? Who, me? Don't be ridiculous, darling. I'm just a silly old jester.
Yes, father. It... It was he who rode my horse in the Southern National, and he who captured the Slayer of the Sands. Forgive me. <sighs> Ferris, look at me. The burden that was placed upon you, it was more than any boy could be expected to bear. It is I who must apologize, not you. But rest assured that I have learned my lesson. I will not make the same mistake again. And it seems you have learned something too, despite your protestations. The bravery you showed was worthy of a true knight. Sir Hendrik will be happy to take one such as yourself under his wing, I am sure. Your dream will come true at last. I am so pleased for you. <laughs> Hendrik? Wasn't that the name of the guy who was chasing us? Ah, but I am forgetting our guests. Father, these travelers came to Galopolis in search of the rainbow. It is a royal treasure, of course. But surely you agree that they have done more than enough to deserve it. Certainly, certainly, but my boy, I sold the rainbow to a traveling merchant. What? What would compel you to sell one of our most precious treasures? Are you blind, boy? Did you not notice the grandeur with which we celebrated this year's Sand National? We made a sacrifice for your sake. Father, I... I... <laughs> Forgive me. All I can tell you is that the merchant to whom I sold the rainbow headed west towards Gondolia. This letter will grant you passage through the checkpoint that leads there. But... Uh, uh, ow! A thousand pardons! I did not know that the Rainbow was no longer in the Kingdom. Truly, I did not. It is scant consolation, I am sure. But please, take this. Its value cannot possibly compare, but it has been prized by generations of Gallopolitan Knights. It allows one to provoke distant foes into combat, and is an excellent way to gain battle experience. have done our kingdom a great service. Should you ever need our assistance, you need only say the word. And as for me, I will be sorry to see you leave. But I am sure there will be other Gollum. <coughs> Kindly travelers along soon enough. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> <laughs>
At last! I was beginning to think you had snuck out through the stage door. Huh? How? Hey! You again. What do you want this time? Hey! Ta-da! Oh, don't be coy, darling. I want to come with you, of course. You should never have told me about your heroic quest if you didn't want me to tag along. What are you talking about? You can't just decide to come with us. This isn't a game. <sighs> Believe me, honey, I know it isn't. I've seen my fair share of fun and games on my travels. What kind of jester would I be if I hadn't? But I've seen tragedy too. People attacked by monsters, all kinds of awful things. You know, my dream has always been to build a wonderful theater. Somewhere I can put on performances that will make millions smile. But how can I do that if this dark one of yours is going to be out there making people's lives awful? What I'm trying to say, darlings, is that we all want the same thing. So you see, I have to come with you. Oh, don't all squeal at once now. This guy, guess I'm part of the gang now. Yay! Well, to get to Yggdrasil, we're going to need the Rainbow. And it seems that a traveling merchant has taken it to Gondolia. Gondolia? But honey, that's a port town. He's probably hopped on a boat and set sail by now. That's true. Well, mm, then we'll have to buy tickets for the ferry and... The ferry? Please, darling. We don't have time to be riding the ferry with the little people. Well, what's your bright idea then? I was thinking a sheep of our own might be more chic, no? And luckily for you, I happen to have picked up a lovely little number in the end of season sales. What? You've got your own boat? That's amazing! You're going up in my estimation by the minute. You'd really be willing to let us use your ship, Mr. Sylvander? But of course, sweetie. That's what friends are for. And guess where the old girl is dog, hmm? No? Why, Gondolia, of course! Lucky! So what are we waiting for? The ocean beckons, shipmate! Westward ho!
Ha! Easy!
wins again. Another one bites the dust.
nice. as though the whole town is bobbing up and down on the waves. So this is Gondolia, huh? I heard there were some big scores to be had here. Rich merchants from all over the world, ships full of treasure, you name it. And this is where you're keeping your ship, Sylvando. The ship that you own. Don't tell me you're some kind of millionaire. <gasps> oh, come now, Ronnie, darling. You know it's not polite to pry. All right. The docks are in the southwest of the town. Last one.
You good?
You believe it? This mean, mean man won't let us into the dock. It's nothing personal. The docks are off limits for everybody now. It's because of la competizione. Great. So I guess we just have to sit tight till this contest thing is over, huh? See, si, it's the only choice. I am sorry, but Signor Universo is molto, molto importante event for people of Gondolia. Senor Universo, you say? Now that sounds like fun. Tell me more, honey. I'm all ears. Naturalmente. Senor Universo is for men of all ages. The winner, he must be a powerful like the waves, graceful like the breeze, and deep like the sea. La competizione is reason why Gondolia is so filled with the strong and admirable men in this moment. Ooh, I love a little pageantry. Come on, darlings, let's go see what it's all about. We can sample some local delicacies to get ourselves in the mood. I hear... Well, who's with me? Come. I'm not that bothered about whatever silly contest they're having. But I am quite peckish. I'd love to try a few local treats. Seriously? We're not here on holiday, you know. We're supposed to be looking for the rainbow. Right, Serena? Mm, well... Uh, I'm so sorry, but I'm really rather hungry myself and... Well, we can't leave until the contest's over anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it. Hey, listen. We're kind of in a hurry here. And we really need to... Naturalmente. The person in the charge is Dojo Rotondo. He is in the charge of everything in our town. His villa is in the northeast part of Gondolia. You must speak with him. He is so much a kind man. Molto gentile. You heard the man. Let's go ask this doge guy to let us into the docks. This must be the place. Oh, no minuto. I am coming. 
Uh, hey, we're looking for the Doge. We need to ask him a favor. Bene, I am Doge Rotondo. Always I am happy to help. <gasps> I have nothing to say to you. Niente! Now you must go! Andate via! What the... Hey, wait! So much for Malto Gentile. I've met kinder judges. He took one look at you and freaked out, huh? Wait, you don't think... Nah, how would he... Oh. oh, there you are. Veronica's managed to get herself into a bit of a scrape. <sighs> Man, you can't take that kid anywhere. Still, I guess we won't be sailing out... Give it back, you dirty, rotten thief! It's not like you can use it anyway. A kid like you wouldn't have the first idea what to do with a wand. Why no? You are the kid, just like me. Anyway, I only borrow, no steal. What's going on here, Serena? We were just walking along when he came out of nowhere and snatched her wand. We oh. <sighs> Here, don't let it get swiped so easily next time. But why did you even want my wand in the first place? It's not worth much money, you know. I, uh... Hmm? What is it, kid? Spit it out. It's okay, Placido. I explain the situation. My name is Benigno. He is my friend, Placido. He's the only son of the Doge Rotondo. Every day we are playing together. Molto felice. Happy, happy. But then Placido, he loses his voice. I don't understand what happened. I ask, but he cannot answer. So I think, if I have the magic, Maybe I can fix Placido's voice. Capisce? Hmm. Fine. You're forgiven. Now, tell me more about your friend's lost voice. It's his throat. There's some sort of... awful... I might be able to help him if I had some birdsong nectar. But I'd need some water from a sacred fountain to make it, and, well... <gasps> you needed the special, very, very holy water to help Placido. See? I hear people talking. The river, west of Gondolia. If you follow it up, there is a cave. The Grotta della Fonte. Everybody say its water is molto speciale. I know I still have the wand. And I know this is very bad. But per favore, you must help Placido. We are friends since we are the small children. Bambini piccoli. And now you are his only hope. You will help him, see? See? Grazie mille, signore. You bring her the water from the grotta and make the special nectar. And I will stay to take care of Placido.
Don't say I didn't warn you! Another one bites the dust. I feel better than ever.
beautiful. Want some?
Another one, but... Another one, bite! Let's 
Who else wants? Oh, yeah. It's so clear. This will be perfect for making birdsong nectar. There we are, all done. Now, let's head back to Gondolia and see if we can cure dear little Placido. really got going while we were away. Oh, this is just too, too exciting. I can't wait to see the first contestant take the stage. Listen, boys, I want front row seats for this, so let's get organized. You two go and muscle your way to the front of the crowd and save us a space. Meanwhile, me and the girls will go put a song back into little Placido's throat. <laughs> I can't wait to see his happy little face. Ciao for now. <sighs> so we get lumbered with the grunt work again, huh?
<laughs> Santo cielo, what an handsome pair. I think I have never seen such luscious hairs. Molto splendente. Surely you are entering la competition, you see? It's a, such a waste if you not take part. Listen, Gramps, I know we're easy on the eye, but we don't have time to be. <gasps> hey, does that guy look familiar to you? I had thought to search the town for you while the citizenry were occupied with this idiotic spectacle. But no. Instead, you choose to saunter up and greet me in broad daylight. Damn it, it is. It's him. People of Gondolia, listen. And listen well. Hi. Jasper, Knight of Heliodor and trusted retainer of His Majesty, King Carnelian. Come before you to tell you that the very Darkspawn himself is among us. This is not good. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Come quietly, accursed one, and I may not be inclined to make you suffer. Oh man, we've done it now. Damn it! They just... Your pathetic resistance will get you nowhere. Yield! And spare us the... Yield? I don't think so, honey. <clears throat> you leave my friends alone, or I'm going to have to teach you a lesson. Yeah! Honey. Who are these imbeciles? And how did they get past the guards? <gasps> imbeciles, you say? We'll soon see who's the stupid one! <laughs> ha! So you have friends, Darkspawn. Not for long. Fan out, men! Psst. This way! Quick. Look out! 
doing? I bought you some time. Use it. Get out of here, now! Looks like we're safe for now. We were lucky to get out of there, you know? But... we didn't all make it out. Poor Eric, he... Oh, I can't imagine what they'll do to him. Oh, don't worry, sweetie. Eric's tougher than he looks. I think. That Jasper was talking some nonsense, though, huh? I mean... Why call the one who's trying to beat the Dark One, the Darkspawn? He isn't really the Darkspawn. That's just what the King of Heliodor thinks. It's all some terrible misunderstanding. I'm ever so sorry, Silvando. We should have explained all this to you earlier, but, well, so much has been going on. Oh, please, there's no need to apologize, darling. Darkspawn, indeed. As if a lovely little thing like you would go around with someone like that. Oh, Silvando. Now, are we gonna stand around here all night or are we gonna take action, huh? Let's sneak up to that bridge in the middle of town and see if we can spot where they're keeping it. Be quiet as mice now and use the buildings for cover. The streets are crawling with soldiers.
Fabulous, darling! Wonderful. Darlings! Told you I was tough.
I know you are scurrying around in the shadows like the rodent you are. Or you can stay hidden and see what happens to your friend. Something tells me he's not the patient type. We'd better get to Eric before things turn... Ah! There's a gondola stop off to the northwest near the contest stage. We could sneak up close to them from there. Let's hop on a gondola and glide on over. You fail to find him. Imbeciles! Search again, and do not return empty-handed. It's now or never, my loves. Time to enter from stage right and save the day. <laughs> So finally you scurry into the light. You rats think to gain the advantage by ambushing me while I am unguarded. Ah.
patched up. To my knees, fight you, vermin. Ugh, how could this happen? <coughs> <gasps> oh, Eric, are you all right? Here, let me untie you. Devilry is this, Dark Spawn? By what trickery did you manage to overcome Sir Jasper? <laughs> it matters not. You have had your fun. Now accept your fate and give yourselves up. <laughs> All right, this is gonna seem crazy, but just trust me, okay? Geronimo! <laughs> True to form, the rats leap from the sea. Now, this ridiculous farce has gone on long enough. Surrender to me, or entrust your fate to the sh. Oh! Sir Jasper, look! Hmm? Uh. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! How's that for a dramatic entrance, huh? Introducing the Salty Stallion, the finest ship to ever sashay across the seas. <sighs> Dave, be a darling and pull over to the quayside so my friends can hop on, will you? Right you are, Silver. All aboard! <laughs> <laughs> Get them! <laughs> Ciao for now, Jasper, darling. Bet you didn't see that ending coming. Ooh, I do love a twist. What are your orders, sir? They're getting away. They will not get far. Ooh, made it. And by the skin of our teeth. We owe you one, Sylve. <laughs> oh, don't be silly, darling. Dave is the one you need to thank. It's his steady hand on the helm that steered us out of the jaws of danger. <laughs> oh, stop. 
Stop it, Sylv. I'm just doing my job. No need to... Oh, blimey, what the heck's that? Oh my goodness! It's disgusting! <laughs> I told you you would not get far. Enjoy your journey to the ocean floor. Now, my dear Tentacula, welcome your new friends to the loving embrace of the deep. Crikey, here it comes! Oh, I'm too young and beautiful to die! Huh? What's that noise? Those are Gondolian merchant ships. What are they? Fire! Aye, aye! Look! They scared it off! Is safe now. See? Bene, bene. That monster always is harassing the ships in this area. Molto irritante. <laughs> hey, it's me, Placido. Listen, I can speak now. I have back my voice again. The boy, he tell me everything. He tell me it's you who cure him. And also, he convinced me that you are no darkspawn. That is no you who curse him in this way. He explain everything to me. Scusa, amici. I have done to you a great disservice. Some days ago, I play outside the town, and I observe Sir Jasper talking to the monster. He's scary, so I make a little scream. He hear me, and curse my voice so I cannot speak about what I see. It was horrible. So I learn that the one they call the Darkspawn save my boy, and the noble knights of Eliodor, they consort with the monsters. What does it all mean? I cannot understand. But I know that you are an hero, and an hero must escape to fight another day, see? Darkspawn! Hear me! Today, you were lucky. But your luck will run out. And when it does, I will be there. Things won't be easy for you now. You defied the Heliodorians, and they don't like that. Don't let them grind you down, you hear? We live to see another sunrise. We're blessed. Blessed, I tell you. Oh, Dave, I forgot to ask. Have you heard any little birdies chirping about a merchant buying something called the Rainbow over in Galopolis? Oh, have as it happened, Silver. Word on the grapevine is the fellow what bought it headed over Zvardrust way. This really isn't just a game to you, huh? 
<laughs> Friends, shipmates, amigos, Zvard's thrust and the rainbow await. Onward, forward, northeastward, the Stani beckons. <laughs> <laughs> else wants some. <laughs> Thank you. 